Hi guys, and this is Make Me Up on Beauty Base. I'm makeup artist Lily Keys, and today, as Valentine's Day is around the corner, I thought I'd show you a really beautiful date night makeup. So the skin is all prepped and primed, and I'm gonna go straight onto the foundation. I'm gonna be using this really cool uh, foundation. It's actually CC cream, it's from Bourjois. CC stands for colour correction, so this is actually anti-fatigue, anti-redness and anti-dock spots. It's a really lovely colour, this one is 32 Beige Claire. Just put a little bit on my hand and with my foundation brush from Sephora, I'm just going to be um, putting the foundation from the middle of the face outwards. This is date night makeup, so we don't want to be too heavy handed with the makeup and scare off the guys. We want to look really natural and pretty, just really nice extension of ourselves. Onto the brows, and I'm using this clear mascara. This one is by Collection 2000. Clear mascara is really, really good. It's an underrated product. Basically, what I use it for is to set the brows in place. Also gives it a nice, very subtle sheen. Really kind of defines the brows without looking too over the top. I'm going to be slightly darkening the brows and I'm using this eyebrow pencil by NARS, it's called Eye Panama. So I've given a good sharpen and basically I'm just going to be um, taking it slightly thicker in the inner corners of the brows. You want to go in the direction of the hair growth with little short feathery strokes like I'm doing now. For the eyeshadow, I'm using this really beautiful palette by Clinique and it's called Maple Blossom. So I'm just going to be taking an eyeshadow brush, a fluffy one, and with this gorgeous colour, just dip it in the product. Remember to tap off any excess so it doesn't drop down your face. The reason why I'm using this colour is that generally as a base, slate grey as a colour really accentuates most eye colours and it's actually a really flattering colour that people overlook in favour of browns. But for date night, we want to look quite fresh and beautiful and slightly different, which is why I'm going for this colour. The second eyeshadow colour I'm using is this one, and it's kind of like a grey mushroomy colour. It's by MAC and it's called Grand Cover. With another eyeshadow brush, this time I'm using a smaller angled one. Just going to get the colour and just kind of um, accentuate it on the, on the outer corners of the eye, just to give a bit of definition. So I'm using a cold pencil now just to define the eyes a little bit more. I'm using this one by Clinique, it's called Blue Grey. It's really cool because it's got a smudgy bit at the other side as well, so easier to use. So what I'm going to do is just take it along the la upper lash line, really kind of get it into your lashes. So we're not using a black eyeliner today because I don't want it to look too dark, I want it to look really pretty and natural and fresh. So even this is quite cool because it's a blue-grey colour. Black can sometimes be a bit harsh. So with the other side of this brush, I'm now going to just smudge it in to the lashes just so we've got really nice blending and the top as well. Okay, so for the last step for the eyeshadows, I'm using this really cool colour by Bobbi Brown and it's called Silver. For this, I'm really going to be using it on the middle of the eyelid, so just to kind of really pop that colour out, kind of give it an extra, an extra dimension and I'm also going to be using it on the inner corners of the eyes, so I'm just going to be doing a little bit there. Mascara next, and I'm using this one by Topshop. It's called False Lash Mascara in black. So I'm just going to be... Got to be careful with this because it's got a really big brush. Let's look down there for me, darling, thanks. So really going to wiggle the brush into the roots. Careful not to clog the lashes. So I'm going to be doing the bronzer and the blusher now and I'm using this duo product by Topshop. It's called Break of Day and it's a bronzer and blusher duo which is just perfect. So I'm using this uh, Bobbi Brown blusher brush with this and I'm kind of mixing it up. I don't want to do two you know, separate products too much. So I'm going to be going under the cheekbones with little strokes like this just to really get it blended in. And then when I want to use the blusher, I'm just going to concentrate on the pink and just do it more on the apples of the cheeks over here. 
I'm now going to highlight the face and I'm going to be using this iconic product from MAC. It's called Pearl and it is a cream colour base. So that's what you ask for if you go and get it. So I'm just going to take my finger and blot it in the product. As you can see, it's got this really beautiful sheen on my finger and I'm going to be dabbing it on the high points of Teresa's face. So cheekbones right here and a little bit just above the eyebrows. Sometimes I like to do it just above the cupid's bow as well because it's just got a really nice sheen and it makes your lips appear fuller. So now onto the lips and I'm using this really cool lipstick by Burberry. It's called Pink Apricot. So I'm just using my lip brush from Bobbi Brown and doing this colour directly onto the lips. I'm not going to be using a lip line or anything because we don't want it to be too overstyled. I just want it to look like your natural lip colour really. Slightly matte, very velvet looking. Okay, so lastly I'm going to be setting the face with some powder and I'm not going to be putting too much on because we want to still look fresh and young and dewy. But I'm using this powder by this um, really amazing brand that I've newly discovered. It's called EX1. This is called Invisiwear Powder and this is in shade 100. This makeup brand is really geared towards olive skins but they also do lighter shades as well. And it's such a nice powder because it's lightweight and it doesn't sit in your skin and you know sit in lines and, or anything like that. It's just really lovely, it really does what it says. So I'm just going to be putting it generally on the T zone, on the forehead, around the nose and just on the chin and that's it really. So here we have it guys, the finished look for today, date night makeup. Really hope that you have enjoyed watching this how-to video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tune in next week where I'll be showing you how to recreate Rosie Huntington Whiteley's beautiful makeup look. I'll see you then guys, bye.